Hi, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. Now, this video is about um, uh, minimalism and clothes shopping. Now, I fell into minimalism, um, it would have been oh, nine months ago, and it changed my life um, dramatically in, in realizing what I value and what I appreciate and just simplifying my life. And I applied it to what I, the food that I eat, and I applied it to the things that I buy, in particular, the clothes in my wardrobe. So, and obviously being a minimalism, minimalist when it comes to clothes shopping means, you know, you, you're free up a lot more money and there's a lot less financial stress. So, um, when I do go shopping, and yes, I do shop because I, I do love to buy um, beautiful things that make me feel good, I take a really strict approach and um, really question things before I buy them. And I'm going to sound like a complete uh, control freak. But I have a list of questions that I ask myself when I do go shopping, just so that I don't um, waste my time and money um, buying um, impulse purchases or um, I'm not trying to sort of cover a, a void or some sort of emotional issue that I'm trying to deal with um, in my life at the time with shopping. So I, this video is all about sharing the questions that I ask myself um, when I do go shopping before I buy something and yes, I do stand in the changing room um, and I look at my, I grab my iPhone and I ask myself these questions and depending on my answers that will determine whether I buy the item or not. So these are the questions I'm going to share with you. First question, what has brought me to this place? Now when I um, became a new mum, I had a child that was a really bad reflux baby which means they just vomit all the time and I used to be covered in head to toe in vomit and it would be all through my hair and I would have to change my outfits um, numerous times throughout the day as, as well as his. And by the end of the day, you were no longer grabbing your you know, beautiful silk blouse. You'd just be grabbing a, a t-shirt that could be quickly and easily thrown in the wash. So I would find myself um, uh, to escape from that moment, that, you know, those few hours that I got a break, I'd escape to the shops and find myself, you know, walking around my favorite um, designer shops just because I wanted to get away from, I guess, wearing daggy um, mum clothes um, and just wanting to be around sort of, you know, beautiful fabrics and colours and textures. So that was the wrong reason for me to be shopping. I shouldn't have actually been there. And I, that was, I guess, a void that I was trying to cover up in my life. So once I became aware of that, I knew not to, to go shopping when I was, you know, feeling in that type of, I guess, space. Um, next question is, is um, how does it feel? Um, so the other day I found a beautiful jumper and I um, tried it on, I really liked it, it, it was a beautiful colour, it fitted really well. But then when I pulled out my iPhone and started to ask myself this question, I realised it was actually making me feel really itchy, it had a high wool content and against my skin it started to irritate me and if it was irritating me within the first couple of minutes of wearing it, I, it was not going to be a good buy and I knew that it would sit in, my, in the drawer of my wardrobe and never actually get to see the light of day because I'd always think about how much it irritated my skin. So by actually taking the time to ask myself that conscious question, I was able, I didn't waste any money buying that jumper. Um, next question is, do I already own something like this? If so, how often do I wear it? Now, most of us tend to buy the same thing over and over again. Um, and it's a sort of, I guess, a subconscious shopping habit. For example, um, you know, my mum has so many white t-shirts, that's all she seems to buy, white um, crew neck t-shirts. Um, obviously you can only have, a, you only need a certain amount, but yes, you do wear, wear through them and they do need to repla be replaced. Now, if you ask yourself this, do I already own something like this? And you say yes, you then ask yourself, well, how often do I wear it? And if, I, if you wear it on a regular basis, that's great. It means you'll most likely get lots of value out of buying this item. But if you answer the, say, yes, I do already own something like this, but I don't wear it often, well then, again, you're creating a conscious decision and you'll know, you'll deter yourself from buying it because you know that it's never going to get to see the light of day, like that wooden jumper if I bought it, because you don't even already wear the one that you've already got that's very similar. So again, another good question to ask yourself so, you know, for some conscious shopping habits. Um, next question is, is if the item's on sale, um, own, like, would I pay full price for this if it, if it was not on sale? If I'm trying on you know, a fantastic pair of pants and they're on sale, I think I, I always ask myself, if I was prepared to pay full price, um, would, I still, would I still buy this? And if I answer no, it, the item goes straight back on um, to the rack. I'm not it. Only buy what you value, appreciate and love. 
The fact that it's on sale shouldn't be the decision as to why you buy something. Um, next question is, um, what will replace this item? Now, this is a really hard one because I try um, very hard to try and keep all my items um, under 50. Um, that obviously excludes underwear, gym wear and lounge wear, but for all my shirts, skirts, blouses, pants, jeans, I try and keep my number under 50 so that um, you know, I, I've taken a minimalistic approach to my wardrobe and um, everything matches and, and sort of works together. So if I find something I really love, I really try and ask myself, well, what am I prepared to let go of out of my wardrobe to, um, to be able to buy this new item? Okay. Again, that's not for everyone and not everyone is a minimalist, but um, it's definitely um, something to consider if you're really trying to, you know, um, streamline your wardrobe and, and have only the key pieces that you love and appreciate. Next um, question is, um, how does um, this outfit, oh, next question is, um, what five items would this, uh, uh, sorry, next question is, what five items would this work with? So say for example, I find a beautiful top and I really love it. I make myself think of different outfits that I could use that top with. So I say to myself, okay, well, I know it will look really great with my, um, dark um, black denim jeans, um, I know it will look good with my um, white denim skirt, um, I'll actually sit there and think about all the different outfits I can put together with that item so that I know it's not going to be one of those loud random tops that doesn't actually work with anything and, um, and just you know sits in my wardrobe with a tag hanging on it. So making sure that the, yeah, the pieces are all I guess correlated and in sync with each other and they, um, they accurately, accurately reflect your style is another really good conscious question to ask yourself. Um, next question is, now this is I guess more in relation to like if you're buying a beautiful dress um, for a special event and um, the question is, is, does this outfit match the type of events that I actually go to? Now this, is, um, this question always reminds me of one of my really good girlfriends. She's got all these amazing, incredible party cocktail dresses um, and her wardrobe is just like squished with all these gorgeous dresses, lots of which still have the price tags on them still. But it's because her, um, they never get to be worn because she actually doesn't go to that many um, functions where she needs to wear a cocktail dress. So if you're going to buy something special for yourself, make sure you've actually got it um, to wear to an upcoming event so that you know it's going to, you're actually going to get it out there and wear it and, and use it. Um, next question is, um, is this my style or somebody else's style? I'm a bit of a sucker for this. I will see, um, I'll go to a, an event or a function and I'll see someone wearing the most beautiful dress and I'll ask them, you know, I'll say, you know, you look amazing, I love your dress, where did you get it from? And, you know, I might go and if, and have a look in that shop myself and, and have a go at trying it on. Often I've, when I try it on, I realise, what am I doing? This is actually not, I, I really appreciated that dress on that person and that was reflective of their style, but it's actually not my own style. So stopping and thinking, is this, um, is this you know, the style that I'm wanting to portray and is this, does this accurately um, you know, display my own tastes and um, uh, I guess quality in fashion before I make you know, a buying decision? Otherwise I've got a few maxi, beautiful floral maxi dresses which actually are not my style at all. And um, you know, by stopping and asking yourself these questions, again, making much more powerful um, decisions for yourself and you're not going to waste your money. Um, uh, last couple of questions. Um, can this be cleaned easily? Um, as I said, I have a um, almost a two-year-old um, and two dogs. So I have snot, um, sticky fingers, food, um, slobber, dog hair everywhere. Like, and um, my dry cleaning bill is massive. And um, so if I'm going to buy something nice, I want to make sure it can be cleaned easily um, and obviously relatively cheaply. So. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to buy too many de delicate fabric um, fashion pieces recently, but um, I'm really glad that now what I do buy, I don't freak out when, you know, Rocco, say, vomits on me because it can just quickly, easily go into the wash and it's no big deal. I'm not going to have to trek off to the dry cleaners and, you know, get a special dry cleaning service done at, you know, $80 or something ridiculous. So asking those questions, you know, and, and looking at your lifestyle and whether, it suit, whether that item suits your lifestyle is you know, all these sorts of things can really stop you from going a bit, I guess, nuts in the sales or nuts at, the, at your um, local shopping mall. Um, and yeah, so they're my questions that I ask myself whenever I go shopping. Um, I can't tell you how many um, 
uh, bad purchases it stopped me um, from making and how many really good pieces I've actually bought for myself and I've worn and enjoyed and got lots of value out of. So I hope that's of help to you. You might just like a few of those questions or you might like all of them. Um, but it's, at the end of the day, it's going to help you make better decisions with your money, which is always a good thing. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video soon. But um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget you can like us on Facebook at SugarMama.tv and you can follow me on Instagram at SugarMama.tv. So ciao for now. I'll see you soon.